day two of um, our little Cornwall trip and of course it is raining it's windy it's cold it's horrible um, but yeah so we are trying to work out what to do today because obviously hanging outside is going to be a bit difficult um, with the dogs getting soaked and being in the van but we're hoping to find a museum or something that's dog friendly that we can go into but we'll let you know had a nice quiet night last night slept really well um, so we are heading down further towards um, kind of court we, I think we were in Devon still we we're heading down towards Cornwall now because we're going to go and see Brian Cher and, and hopefully catch up with him tonight um, before we head on um, to Land's End probably tomorrow um, but no plans there's never a plan because um, plans are bad <laughs> Um, but yeah, let's see how we get on. Bye. So we've just gone out for a wee wee's. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's horrible. It's absolutely bogging out there. So we're actually at the Eden Project. Because we saw a sign and the weather was just getting worse and worse and worse. Yeah. And the museum that we picked, we didn't even know if we could get in the car park because it was a small car park. Um, so we kind of thought, do you know what? One of us is going to do the Eden, Eden Project because um, we can't come this far and not do it. But um, it is reasonably expensive as well. But I've got a load of editing to do and lots of stuff and some paperwork to catch up on and some contractors to call. Um, so Madam's going to go to the Eden Project on her own just take the camera so I'll be able to see what she sees because yeah. she can film it yeah I mean when we initially thought about doing the Eden project obviously you can take dogs in the not the biodome so the thought was to walk around together take turns going into the biodome but this weather here you're not going to want to stand outside and wait um you can hear it it's disgusting um yeah. so. it's um Doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it what's yeah. I'm gonna make a coffee, have something to eat before I go. Um and yeah, the rain is set for the whole day, so it's gonna be pretty mess. So we're gonna kill four or five hours here and then we're gonna head on into town and see Brian Shear tonight. Cool. Off you go. Bye. <laughs> do, 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 do. Dora. I see you bag. <laughs> so, got your phone, got your phone charger, cable in the back, got the camera, got your lunch, got a bottle of water, your coffee's there waiting to be taken. And yeah, I'm gonna zip your neck up in a second so you stay dry. I'll be fine. Yeah, well, enjoy. Thanks. And um, see you in. Feels a bit nice. Yeah, four or five I hours. Yeah. I know, but this is this is the best yes. way. Bye. This is the way. Yeah. Alright. Alright, you need to put that phone away before you get out because it's absolutely chuffing it. Alright. There she goes. <laughs> it's absolutely tipping it down. Your little pink and orange blob. <laughs> to the Eden Project! Let's go. Hey guys, and here we are at the Eden Project. We're just entering the rainforest biome. And yep, I can confirm it is hot in here. It's about 30 degrees, but the range can go between 18 and 35. Uh, so it is pretty warm. If, like me, you have no idea what the Eden Project really is, well, here's a little rundown. So back in the 1990s, a group of people decided they wanted to build a global garden, and they decided to do it here in Cornwall. So there was a old clay mine, uh, pretty much lifeless, and with um, just the meagre sum of £141 million pounds in two and a half years, they built this, this incredible global garden. In the rainforest section, 
there are plants here from Asia, South America, West Africa. So there's over a thousand different types of plants here. It's pretty cool. So there are two biomes here. This is the rainforest and over on the other side is the Mediterranean, which I can confirm is a lot cooler than the rainforest one. This very cool flower produces these little stems at the back of the flowers, which make bananas. Love it. <laughs> so having a great time here. It's yeah, it's great. <laughs> Keep getting dripped on. I'm glad I changed. It's quite warm in here. Um, yeah, I would have been sweating, <laughs> um, but no, it's great. Um, it's in, in essence a whole lot of plants but they are really gorgeous um, and really enjoying it and this is a school party and they're having the best time so it's so fun listening to them laugh and giggle um, as they kind of go through each bit um, but apparently there is a boabab tree here which um, there's loads of them in Zimbabwe which is where my uncle um, used to live and I used to go and visit quite a lot so I'm really looking forward to finding the boabab tree um, it's a little one um, yeah they get massive i've seen them in the wild so to speak and uh, yeah you take like 15 men to kind of go around the trunks they're incredible so i'm looking forward to seeing a baby one <laughs> So the biome itself is pretty awesome, uh, absolutely massive to look at and uh, so these hexagons they are made of a really special kind of plastic. They basically blow up with air in between a bit like a pillow, uh, they're lighter than glass but they can withstand the weight of a car which is pretty cool and they still let all that yummy yummy UV light through for the plants. Okay, I'm a little bit disappointed. I think this is what they're saying is their little boobab, which is rubbish, as I was expecting a proper one. Um, so yeah, not happy, but they do have sugar cane. And uh, where I grew up, we had sugar cane fields right behind us. So we used to, as kids, go in and nick ones and then just eat the sugar straight from the sugar cane. So that's cool. But yeah, I'm excited about the boobab.
the rain has stopped. Time for a quick doof walk and a little bit of an explore. I don't know what we'll see off the car park, but better than sitting in the rig doing nothing. <laughs> Amazing.
God. So heading out of uh, Eden Project, I don't know how to get out of here and there doesn't seem to be any signs, but I'm wandering, I'm sure I'll get there eventually. <laughs> I think I've got to go that way, um, but you can see the biodomes behind. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, what an amazing place, what an amazing project. Um, yeah, a group of people in the 90s just decided they wanted to build a rainforest in Cornwall and um, they found an old clay mine and uh, yeah, just pumped a load of organic material in and here we are, um, incredible. So the whole like outside garden, all of this was a, was a clay mine with just water in it. So pretty, pretty awesome. Um, yeah, definitely a bucket list thing, gotta do it. Oh my goodness, there's a whole nother building. What is this? So I found an extra building, went into that. Uh, Invisible World, it was all about the microbiome and atmosphere and stuff like that. Um, yeah, cool. Very spacious, um, yeah, good fun. Had a nice looking cafe, but it was closed. Now you can hear the lovely birds <laughs> singing. So I guess that that is the zip line. So I guess this is the big zip line that runs across all the way through. So I'm guessing there. I'm obsessed. We need to get them an actual baobab tree. Project. It has stopped raining finally. 
Um, but yeah, so we are heading off to go and see some buddies and uh, get a coffee break and then we will have to decide where we're going to sleep tonight because we have no idea. Um, but yeah, it's been a great day. Um, yeah, considering how bad it started with the rain, uh, we've had a great time. 